Hey everybody, and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by BrushEasy. I'm Eric Wallace, and today I'm going to show you how to create and upload Photoshop brushes. Creating and defining brushes in Photoshop is very simple. I've started here with a blank document with a white background, and I've chosen black as my foreground color. I'm then going to click on the brush tool and just draw a very simple shape. Okay, there's my stick man. So I want to turn my stick man into a brush. Now, Photoshop does most of the work for us. Anything that's white in your picture is going to be transparent, and anything black is going to be opaque in the brush. Anything in between will change the opacity. So all we have to do then is go up to Edit and click Define Brush Preset. And Photoshop's automatically going to find the area that we've drawn on, and it tells us that the size of my drawing was 540 pixels, and that's the size of my brush. It's important to note you can go into the master diameter and change the size of each and every brush. However, it's important to make the brush as large as you can from the beginning, since increasing the size of a brush that wasn't made originally at a high resolution can cause it to blur or become soft. So our brush is created at 540 pixels, and I'm going to call this brush Stickman, and hit OK. I'm going to clear the background here, go over to the brush tool again, and look in my brush presets menu, and look, there he is, the brush, 540 pixels with the Stickman. And then you can see, it's as simple as that, I can put him on the drawing, change the color a little bit, and use him just as a regular brush. Now, what if we want to create a Photoshop brush from a photograph? Well, that's pretty simple as well. To get started, we're going to open up a photograph and then go to Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate it. Remember, Photoshop uses white colors to determine what is transparent and black colors to determine what is opaque in the brush. So, we see that this image really isn't white or black, it's kind of gray. So we're going to go up to Image and choose Adjustments and go to Levels. When we see this graph here, we can see the black color in the image starts around here, and the white part of the image starts around here. So I'm going to pull the slider so we get a nice solid black in this area, and a nice solid white around the edges. That looks better. And I'll hit OK. Now, again, all we have to do is go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. I'm just going to retitle this Funny Glasses. Hit OK. Then I'm going to use Command Delete to clear the image with the background color, choose a brush, pick a color, go into our brush presets, and look, there's our funny glasses right there. We'll hit OK, and you can see that we can now draw with the funny glasses. We can change the color of the glasses, and then we can still go in, scale down that master diameter to get just the right size of brush that we want. Now that we've created a couple of brushes, we're going to learn how to save those brushes to an ABR file and then upload that file to BrushEasy. So, we're going to click on the Brush tool, click on the Brush Presets menu, and remember this little right arrow? We're going to click on that and go to our Preset Manager. Now here you're going to see all the brushes that you have, and if you look at the bottom, here are some that we created today. I've got my Stickman, my Film Reel, my CD-ROM, and the funny glasses. And I'm selecting these by holding the Shift key down. And I'm going to select the ones that we want to export, and then I'm going to hit Save Set. Go ahead and name your brushes, and then hit Save. Because BrushEasy only chooses the best brushes from the original authors, it's important to fill out the entire submission form. I'm going to click on the Submit tab, and walk you through the submission page. The first thing you'll notice is that you'll have to provide BrushEasy a 300 by 220 pixel thumbnail image of your brushes and a high resolution preview image. You'll need to create both of these images before you can continue to submit your brush set. If you're not sure what either of these images should look like, browse the rest of the site to see what other people are doing. Once you've got all your preview images together, you'll need to fill out your basic information, such as your name, email address, company, your website URL, and if you'd like to accept donations, your PayPal email address. Then you need to describe your brush. Give your brush a title, and tell BrushEasy whether you're uploading a brush set or a pattern. Then, select a category that best represents your brushes. Finally, tell BrushEasy what version of Photoshop you used. This will help users determine whether the brushes they want to download are compatible with their system or not. 
Include the number of brushes you're including with your set, then browse your hard drive to upload the thumbnail image you created earlier and the high resolution brush preview image you created. Provide a brief description of your brush, then any search terms or keywords that you think will help people find your brushes. Finally, you need to zip your brush file before you upload it to BrushEasy. On the Mac, you can simply right click on your ABR file and choose Compress. On Windows, you can download some free zipping software from the address on your screen. You also have the option of hosting the brush file yourself. Just enter in the URL to your zipped brush file. Finally, enter the confirmation code in the box and make sure you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Then click Submit. Remember, each and every brush set uploaded goes through a review process to make sure it meets BrushEasy's qualifications before it makes it onto the site. Now you know how to create, export, and upload Photoshop brushes right to BrushEasy. I'm Eric Wallace. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, take it easy.